Hey everyone, I'm uh, Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a new floor plan from Sundance. This one being a small couples coach. This is the 2023 Heartland Sundance model 21HB. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about Sundance and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video again today. I'm super excited to be taking a look at this awesome couples travel trailer to Sundance. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! What do we got going on here? It, I don't know to be honest. <laughs> no, I do know, but it's very, very unique. This is unlike anything you'll see, and I'm not even gonna tell you guys because it's so exciting. You gotta stick around and see it. I but literally I've never seen a travel trailer like this. Well, Will, you hooked me in. Let's begin! Alright. Model is Sundance 21HB. The actual tip tip length is 24 feet 10 inches. The dry weight is 4,419 pounds and the hitch weight is 452 pounds. This is the Hartley and Sundance. Right up here we have a nice power tongue jack. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go here. Right up here well, we have a very beautiful painted fiberglass front cap. Sundance looks nice. Rock guard right here. Coming on down the side here, this isn't like any Sundance that I've ever seen. Look at the uh, right. axles and what they got with the fender flare. It's pretty cool. Got the one key alike system. Very nice storage going through there. Okay. And then we do have electric stabilizing That's jack. That's nice. Coming on down here, oh my gosh. Oh, how Black could they do that to steps. us? Womp, 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 womp. It's bad enough that they're not solid steps. And then they do the black ones too. Should have done the aluminum. Yeah. Very nice power awning with LED lights. Speakers on the outside, extended season package, forced heated air in the underbelly, and a three year structural warranty. And then coming on down, look at these tires. Well, they're the Rainier STs. I love these, the Apex. ST235-75 R15. Look at how they look. Right. Oh, it's independent suspension too. Very nice. Very cool. Right over here, we got power and coax if you want um, cable for the outside. Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. And then, yep, another electric stabilizing jack. Coming around the back. This is a toy hauler. You want to get the keys? Oh my gosh. Yeah, where's the keys? Hopefully inside. Oh my god. Co well, come and save the day, please. Okay. Did you save the day, Will? Got the key. Now, you said it's a toy hauler. I think it's just a patio. I don't know. Truthfully, America, I don't know what it is. Okay, you got that side? Hang on. Close it, Will. Okay. Go. Oh. 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 We're both wrong. Interesting. What's the point? Well, to load oh, stuff up, and like, then you can get a lot of fresh air. You know, I really think it would have been cool to do it as a patio, though. It's definitely interesting, huh? Never seen anything like that. Never, never, never. You do got a bug screen as well. Interesting unit. Guys, comment down below. Stop the video right now. Let us know if you like this back door, if you don't like this back door. Never seen anything like it. Right. I like that it's different. And then right here, well, we do have a nice bumper first. Thank you, Slinky. Okay. Finishing up, coming around. Cable, satellite on the outside, uh, 30 amp power service. Okay. City water connection, black tank flush, 10 gallon DSI water heater. Great place to dump your tanks. And then wrapping it all up, well, very simple outside. Yep. The other side of that amazing storage. Cool. Well, well, the outside of this uh, RV looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Oh, what? yeah, because this is Heartland. I know it doesn't have the sticker, but they do. Don't they, they use Asdell on everything? They have used Asdell on everything. I'm Hopefully they one. still are. Right. Asdell is a composite that will never be laminated on. Okay. This will be quick and easy. This is the back living area slash garage, if you want to call it that. Kitchen right here, bedroom slash second living area up there, 
Uh-oh, the door came open. And then bathroom right there. Well, well, we're actually gonna get started up here, but first let's give a big shout out to Lippert. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. We're back. This is interesting. Yeah. Pantry space, storage okay. space, closed space, whatever. Right over here, a Murphy bed setup. Okay. Again, second living room. There's a living room back there as well, but that's also going to double as a dinette. Right. So it's kind of like the Murphy bed setup. And then we'll show that down in just a second. Okay. Storage. Yep. Got that. It's kind of hard to reach. Storage. Okay. Same thing over here. Yes, sir. And then another little closet on this side. Very nice. Oh, and there's USB in there and power right there. And then right here. Yeah. You have a little table extension. You got one on that side? I do, yep. Right okay. here. Oh. Right there. Dropping your glasses on us. Yep. Bada bing, bada freaking boom. Look at that. Just like that. Now you got the bed set up. There is the little cubby portholes and everything. And this is just very, very interesting. Yep. And then it is one of the easiest Murphy beds to set up. Like there's no clips or whatever. Yep, exactly. I feel like maybe you would want the, the board or whatever to have like a flat surface. Right. I don't know. Pros and cons. Okay. Well, go step in that shower. Okay. I took a peek at it and. Oh boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, my head is touching. What is that? That's the uh, smoker carbon monoxide. Uh oh. Run! No, continue on while the show goes on. I know, but. It's fine, it's fine. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah. Or, or it kills you. <laughs> oh. oh. Uh oh. Just a little antifreeze. It's non toxic, though. How do you feel? It's very tight. It, it doesn't pass. All right. What the heck's going on? I don't even see it. I was going to try to turn it off. All right. Here, we'll just continue on. Okay. Interesting shower. There's enough setup. airflow in here. I don't think we're going to die. Hopefully not. And if we do, it's on camera. Damn right. That will hit a million subscribers one way or another. <laughs> right. Plastic toilet. Well, unfortunately, this is not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. We do have a max air fan in here. Mm -hmm. Nice little mirror medicine cabinet. Liquefied, our brand of RV toilet treatment. You can get that in the link in the bio. Very nice. Storage up there. Well, this is a very interesting bathroom. It's an interesting RV. It is. I'm liking it and I'm not liking it. Right. But I'm loving how it's different. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. I always like that. What do we got going on in the kitchen? kitchen? Nice big storage up top. I do like that. Yes, sir. A little window on your campsite, backsplash. It's like an octagon. It is. Actually, decent. Or is that a hexagon? That's a hexagon. Yep. I'm sorry. It's a hexagon. Sorry, Will. No, you're fine. Decent amount of countertop space, single bowl round sink, two tone cabinetry going on here. Oh, yeah. And the storage in here is actually pretty good. Like, these are big cabinets. Nice gray stone microwave right there. Carry on range hood and two burner suburban cooktop. Yes, sir storage underneath so yes okay 
nice pantry right here. And then some drawers underneath. All right. Little drawers. Yeah. Right behind us is the Norcold compressor refrigerator. And you can see that TV slides out for your living space. Interesting. And you have table storage right there as well. Well, well, before we show everybody the table storage, you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this unit here is $47,801. Will, mm -hmm. MSRP. Sale price, I don't currently know what the sale price is, but you know who does? Jen. Miss Jennifer, so please put the sale price right there so everybody can see who's watching on television. And Will, yeah. I don't care what the sale price is, I know we can get everybody a better price than that. So if you're interested in this RV, go to generalrv.com slash matscash, fill out the contact tab, a member of my team will reach out and get you the best price in America. And you can get to that tab in the link in the YouTube description below on matsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. We'll make it easy for you. That's right. Nice big thing in Suey TV there. Yep. Okay. Okay. We got storage above here. IRV Technologies. Yes, sir. Sound system. Nice window there. Mm hmm More storage up here. Nice window there. We got two seats. They both. No, it's flip over, kind of uh -huh. like a toy hauler. Makes a nice big bed. Bada bing, bada boom. Great for go. everybody. Very nice. And then, Will, could you bring me the table, please? Sure. I'm sitting here, right? You know, we're looking outside and everything. And that does clip in so that it won't move around on you. Yep. When, uh, when you're driving. Oh, hold on. Gotta lock that in. I'm gonna have to lift it. There you go. Just like that. Just like that, you got a nice dinette. Yep. That's it. I've Simple. Ne I've never been silenced, Will. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about it and three things we don't like about it. And Will, I want people to know, when it comes to our likes and dislikes, this is going to be our first initial time seeing this. Yeah. We haven't had training on it. We don't know about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, so this is kind of like our first impression. What do we do first, likes or dislikes? Um, you want to do likes first? Uh, yeah. Okay. First, first like Will. I love that. That has to be number one. Yep. This back great door, storage, it's great awesome. Wind, airflow. Yep. I think it's fantastic and different, and I've never seen anything like that. I agree. That is number one. Well, number two? Number two for me is going to be the amount of countertop space and cabinet slash pantry space in here. When I first saw this, I like peeked in, wasn't really paying attention, and uh, I thought it was going to be a really small kitchen, but it's, it's not bad for the size trailer it is. Okay. That's number two. And then number three for me, well, it's going to be the cool looking tires and what appears to be the independent suspension. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um, I see what they were, what competition they were going after with this. Um, and you know, I, I always like that category. I think I it's too. always unique and different. Well, well, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Will, yeah. first one's outside. Will, dislike number one for me. What are those? I know. We do not like the fold up steps. We do not like the black fold up steps. Give us solid steps or give us death. Or if you're not going to give us death, at least make them the aluminum fold up steps. Right. These are the absolute worst. They're a pain in the butt. They get stuck and rusty. That is dislike number one. Show it again, Will. Okay. That is dislike number one. Will, what's dislike number two? Will, that's number one. What's number two? Number two for me is going to be that bathroom. Mm. That bathroom is rough. Especially for a bigger guy. If you're smaller or you're going to use a bathhouse most of the time, it's fine. You know, that's good because it's not taking up too much space. Respectfully, I don't know how to say this. Mm -hmm. 
That really was one of the worst bathrooms I've ever been. Yeah, yeah. It really was. I know. I mean, it was very... That's an emergency bathroom, I guess. But if you're in this lifestyle... Yeah. Going out, not having AC, you got the Truthfully, wind blowing. The, the, there is no bathhouse. Right. The, you know, you like going off the grid. You need the off the grid tires. If you're into that life, it's kind of like van life. Mm -hmm. If you're into it, you're into it. That's right. That's number two. And then number three, well... Please put the TV out. Yeah, this uh, is really... I hate that. A really, really bad spot for it. One, it's an ignorantly large television. For how big this trailer is. Right. Wide. Per capita, that's the biggest TV I've ever seen. Right, and then if, like, you're trying to watch TV while somebody, your partner or whoever is cooking, like, mm. come on, your pantry and your fridge mm. is on the other side, and then your stove and sink and countertop space, it just, that doesn't make sense at all. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this unit, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. Fill out the contact form. Well, I will confidently say this is not a unit for me. But we're not buying RVs. That's right. You guys are. So please do us a huge favor. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you love about this unit and what you don't love about this unit. Well, I'm not a huge fan of Class B's. But it's the number one selling segment in the RV That's industry. Right. So it's not about my personal opinion, preference, or taste. It's about what works for you. Exactly. Well, what do you want to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And again, like Matt said, it's 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 not about us. We're bringing you what you guys want to see, and we're bringing you the variety as much as we can. Yes, sir. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, yes, so much for you. watching. And we'll we'll see you next time.